One of the things I come to realize is that black men strongly wish to have much better relationships with black women. But that's gonna prove to be hard unless you learn to have a better relationship with yourself. Now this is gonna be a deep one. Ring that bell icon so you get notifications and, and, and take your time and listen to me. Now it's gonna be a short video, it's not gonna be long, but I'm about to say some stuff. So let's roll on the Black Alpha. There's a saying, old, old saying, know thyself. And with knowledge of self comes a degree of self-love. And when you love yourself, you move throughout the world a bit differently. Less of an edge on your shoulder. Less of a bitter taste in your mouth. Less of a more aggressive action in your ways. You're peaceful. You're harmonious because you love yourself. When you love yourself, it is expressed outwardly as well as inwardly. When you see your own kind, something that reflects you, you look at it the way you look at your own reflection in the mirror. But the truth of the matter is the problem we have right now and I hate to tell you brothers this, y'all gotta hear this and accept this. We don't love ourselves. I'm talking about the individual, don't love himself as an individual. We are too filled with self-hatred. We feel inadequate in every way. Society does that to you. It always make you feel like you're not living up to some kind of standard. And we keep on pursuing these things. We are overly ambitious. Ambition comes at a cost, and the cost is your soul. I ain't ambitious about nothing, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look, when I was playing instruments, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it was passion, not ambition. I have a lot of passions. I have no ambitions. There is nothing I'm willing to risk it all just to fucking accomplish. There is nothing I'm willing to sell my soul just to accomplish. And this is what ambition does to you. It makes you put that goal in front of everything. And the ambitions, the, the ambitions that we have is for all social economics, all socially attainable things. Because we think that those things are the keys to unlock the doors to a better life. But if you look at your brother Kanye walking around like a disheveled hobo, bragging about being worth $11 billion. I don't know if that's true or not, but he's bragging about how much money he's worth and how he's the richest man, blah, 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 richest black man or whatever. But this dude looked like a vagrant because he's realizing that all that he succeeded in attaining, he still have nothing. That's what he's realizing. Because he don't have a good relationship with the outside world because he don't have a good relationship with himself. That's his problem. He has no self-love because any degree of self-love would preclude you from wearing a White Lives Matter jacket or shirt, knowing what that means. I never supported Black Lives Matter. Never. I don't do none of that whack ass stuff that these crazy ass fake pro-blacks do. I don't get into that stuff. Never did, never will. I don't protest, picket, beg. I don't do none of that shit. Why? Because I love myself. You're not gonna see me out there begging nobody for nothing, man. You gonna get up off my back or I'm gonna get you up off my back. I'm not about to be begging nobody for nothing. You don't want me in an establishment, I don't want to be in your establishment. You don't want me to eat at your restaurant, I don't want to eat at your restaurant. Tell me straight up, you don't, you don't want my kind in that bitch, I bounce. I don't care because I love myself. Kanye don't love himself. There's no way he should have did that. There's no way he should have making those kind of comments about George Floyd's murder. No way, even if you don't believe things are what they what they appear to be watching it on camera, because everybody's seen it. I, I, man, I wish to Allah I hadn't seen it. Fuck, you know what I'm saying? I've seen it like, 
I recently seen like six, seven months ago, I just seen it. I can't get the shit out of my head. All the violence I've personally been involved in, I can't get that shit out of my head because that was some, that was some diabolical stuff. You know, I was just in a lifestyle that was violent. It's come with the game, you know what I'm saying? It's like being on the football field, getting hit, getting concussions, getting your leg broke. It come with the game. I was cool with the violence I was in. Hey, I have no psychological scars from that shit. But I can't watch no innocent man get fucking murdered. That shit fucks with you, bro. That, that, that slowly murdered, that fucks with you. But even if you believe that it wasn't what it seemed to be, you don't make a comment on that, bro. You keep that to yourself. We was always taught that if you have nothing good to say, you shut the fuck up. Keep that to yourself, but he's so filled with self-hatred that he can't keep it to himself. He's trying to find buddies any way he can. He's trying to connect with the outside world any way he can because he's empty on the inside. And that's why he has no good relationships outside. So if you want better relationships with anyone, brother, start with the man in the mirror. Start with you. What do you actually know about yourself? You, you've been told your whole life, especially if you're young. Because, see, I'm old enough to remember when that slave life started. But most of y'all are not old enough to remember when it started. So you grew up here in your whole life that you come from slaves. That you come from jungle people dragged over at the bottom of a ship to work. So that's where you start. And right there, you are scarred because now you spend your whole life trying to prove to everybody that you are better than just a slave. That become one of your ambitions. And you're willing to prove that at any cost, that I am better. Because what you're really trying to be better than is a black man. And you are a black man. But you're trying to be more than just a black man. You're trying to prove to the world that you could be higher than a black man. But you are a black man. So what you are showing is that you don't like what you are. You are showing the world that you can't stand what you are. So when you come at people like me for having a damn German wife that I just so happened to meet by accident. Listen to the last video. I kind of explain it. Did I post that one yet? But I'm going to post it soon. I explained it. It's going to be the one where I'm talking to that girl, um... Responding to Kennedy Bell, I think that's her name, uh, comment in my in, in my video. It's going to be that one. When you see the one talking about Kennedy Bell responding to comments, look at that video. I explain exactly how I met my wife. Pure coincidence. Had nothing to do with nothing else. But when you come at me sideways about me having a German woman, but all you do is sit online and rag on black women 24-7, rag on black men, pookies and ray rays and athletes and, and anything, you are filled with hatred. You're not fooling me. You have to understand, man. You can ask my wife, ask my ex-wives. You can Look, if I don't know nothing else, I know people. If I don't understand nothing else in this world, I understand people. People have always fascinated me. I've always been a quiet dude sitting back. Yeah, I was quiet. Bad as fuck, but quiet. I was a solo dude. Most of my dirty stuff I did, slinging on and shit, I was by myself. I mean, this real gangster shit here. There ain't no face shit. I ain't running no crew or no gang or nothing like that. You know, I was always solo. But anyway, I used to observe people. I used to just sit back and watch. Watch how people move. Watch how they interact. Look at where their eyes are going. Look at how they connecting. You know, I used to watch everything, man. And people have always fascinated me. But I'm telling you, you can't be filled with that kind of self-hatred. Leave that stuff alone. Even if you believe it, tell yourself this and stick to it, my brother. Tell yourself it doesn't matter what my ancestors were yesterday. The only thing that matters is what I am today. That's the only thing that matters. Because first of all, if you want to dig into your history, your, your story don't start as no slaves. Anywhere it go, you're, the, you're a direct descendant of the original man on the planet Earth, so you don't even need to start your story as slavery. But even if you believe that happened to your direct ancestors, I know it didn't happen to mine. I know this for a fact. Chickasaws and Choctaws, baby, you know what I'm saying? Indigenous American right here. I know my history. Like I said, I'm a little older than y'all. But even if you believe that happened, then tell yourself this. It doesn't matter. Because the only thing that matters is right now. What am I right now? Am I in change right now? 
We are all slaves, really. The system got us right now. We are all slaves, but you're not in change. You, you are not targeted like that. You're not whipped, you're not spanked. So, since you are as free as anybody else, give or take, you know what I'm saying, social economics and, and, and systemic racism, but that's a different type of thing. That's still not a slave, that's racism. But since you are as free as anybody else, you started from there. You say, listen, doesn't matter about yesterday. The only thing matters today. Today I'm gonna love what I am and who I am. I'm not gonna carry myself like a slave because I don't believe that happened. Or if it happened, it's over. Bygones be bygones. My people wasn't slaves before that. So I'm not a slave. That is not my, my inheritance. So love yourself, wipe your slate clean. Look in the mirror and start to appreciate what you see. And I don't give a fuck if you Mexican, white, Asian, all y'all could do the same thing. Look in the mirror and appreciate what it is you see. And when you see your reflection in another man, respect that. When you see your counterpart in a black woman, respect that. Treat that woman how you want to be treated. Give her the same type of respect and dignity that you want for yourself. Learn how to do that and you will improve your relationships with black women. At least on your side. <laughs> Their side, good luck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not going to try to talk to them about that shit they do. Good luck. I'm talking to the brothers. Good luck on their side. I, I can't help you. I'm telling you what to do on your side. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'm out this bitch. I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Black Alpha. So long. Um.